Well, here's a very short little tutorial I thought I'd walk you through. I'm uh, working on my Jinx, as I'm sure you are all well aware, and I'm at the point now where I want to put on the um, reinforcing uh, aluminum plating for the motorboard. And I believe I've shown you stuff like this before. It's very similar. Um, this is a one by one foot square sheet of aluminum. I don't know, it's about an eighth inch thick. And I just get this at my local steel store when it goes on sale and it's pre-cut this way and it was $7.99 a sheet so I decided I would get two sheets. What I've done with one of the sheets is I have bent it over like this here and this part right here is going to go on the very top of the motorboard and this is going to go on the inside where the uh, clamps go so the outboard motor will screw onto here that's why I, I, I don't need it um, too long here so I'm just going to show you very quickly how I managed to bend this I've got a fairly clean bend here and I simply did it in my workshop so here's the process I've got an old old table saw and what I've done is I've mounted I'm going to bring this down here. I've mounted a cutoff blade here. So this is one of those uh, grinder type blades. I don't know if you can see it under there. And it, it, it doesn't have teeth. It, it, it literally grinds, grinds metal. But I've mounted it on my old table saw. And what I did was I adjusted the height of the table saw. I'm going to bring it up here so that I was able to score both sides of that aluminum plate. So if I use this plate here as an example, there's the height of it right there, and there's the height of my aluminum plate. So I brought this up. So when I ran my aluminum plate over it, I would just score it. I wasn't cutting all the way through. So I scored it on both sides here. Now the top of my motorboard is one and three quarter inches thick and that was the distance I set my fence from the blade here and I simply ran it through and I scored the one side and then I turned it over and I scored the other side. What I ended up with and I've already bent this piece right here is I ended up with a score line on this side and that side and then all I did was I took this into my vise you can see I finished here I put it between two blocks of wood and I simply bent it over and it produced a very sharp relatively clean bend in this top piece and then this is going to go on the top of the motorboard so I'm going to go outside and show you how I'm going to assemble that all right, here we are. Uh, I have the two plates back here. I've drilled some holes in them to put the stainless steel screws in. You can see right here, this is gonna sit just like this. And then my back plate will go behind here. So before I put the screws through, I'm gonna mix up some thickened epoxy just to seal the screw holes. Thank you. 